So, we're doing a slightly different kind of devlog today. I'm just going to be fucking around a bit, making something, and giving live commentary as we go. Instead of editing something together with all kind of fancy, like, B-roll shots and stuff like that. Maybe it will be interesting. You can see me live debugging and that kind of stuff, but I'll just cut out all the extremely boring parts. Alright, so I think the first thing we should do is we're making a fun little action RPG game here is um, make a character controller because I don't have a 3D character controller yet and I want to make something in 3D. So let's start out by uh, making a plane and a little capsule just for testing purposes. Let's also give the capsule a little nose for the time being. This is very much a debugging thing but this way we can actually see like what direction uh, it's facing in. <laughs> That's going to be relatively useful. Alright, that one simple line of code should, in theory, now allow me to walk back and forward. Uh, that is, in theory. In practice, it's probably not going to do that because <laughs> that would be just way too easy, wouldn't it? Well, uh, one thing's for sure. Definitely need to fix up the gravity. Well, at least the gravity thing has been fixed. Now I just need... To make sure that I can still move, which I, I still can't, but I've got gravity, which that's fantastic. Would you believe me if I said that the issue is probably that I had the wrong axis filled in? Because it uh, seems like that might have been the issue. Upside, that wasn't the issue. Downside, I have no fucking clue what is. As if I couldn't get any stupider, the issue was even worse. I made a variable for movement speed. And I kept it at zero, so now that it's set to five, I can move around. So, max up is rotation. Alright, I've got something that will walk in two directions now. That being said, it's a little slow because the movement speed is set to one. Uh, but now that it's back to five, uh, it, it definitely needs to be changed over to access raw because this doesn't feel very responsive. Uh, but this is a start, and the reason I ended up uh, throwing this code away is because I figured, you know what, this is actually going to feel like you're controlling a tank and that's not really what I want. So now we'll just have free movement and we'll match the rotation uh, to whatever direction we're moving in, which is a way easier way to do it anyway. Downside to this being is that we can't change the direction we're facing unless we're moving in said direction. But that's a relatively minor drawback, especially if we go considering we can play with controllers. Sensitivity is a thing, you can make micro adjustments, it'll be fine. Okay, so it works. Again, we need this speed to be a little bit faster. Uh, but this works remarkably well, and obviously you can see now I'm, I'm playing on a mouse and keyboard, so the movement is eight directional but maybe i can plug in my PlayStation controller hold on the cable for my controller is a little bit messed up but uh you can see this is a lot smoother already and this is kind of what we're working towards so as part of my character controller i also want camera control though and i want a simple jumping function so let's get into working on that as well we've got jumping We've got infinite jumping, but we have got jumping now, so that's a start. So now let's actually um, start parenting the main camera to our capsule so that it starts moving with us. That way we uh, might actually start having the semblance of a real game. Okay, this is really freaky. <laughs> right, parenting isn't going to work because now it's rotating with us. And I don't think we want that. Yeah, this this is weird. Maybe actually, hold on. Maybe the issue is that we're facing him from the side. Maybe what we want to do is fix this around. So if we put you at zero and then put you at zero as well. It still doesn't feel quite right. This is going to have to be somewhat more complex than it is now. Which is to say we're also definitely going the inverted direction of what I'm pushing. 
I, I need a specific follow camera script rather than just parenting it because I want the position to follow, not the rotation. If I rotate the character towards the screen, the camera shouldn't rotate with that. That makes a lot of sense. I don't know why I didn't figure that out myself. Luckily, that is relatively easy to make. So that is a serialized field uh, transform called player. And then a factor three called um, position delta. Then I begin play, we go position delta equals transform position minus player position. And then if I recall correctly, I want to do this in the late update and then set transform position to be player position plus position delta. So in theory, there we go. This is what we're looking for. Okay, let's speed up the, I really should fix this movement speed thing outside of uh, actually playing the game. But this is, uh, this is a good start. We've got a uh, following camera. Now I need to be able to orbit the camera around the character. And then we should be good as far as player character uh, goes. Obviously, I still need to fix this, the uh, the infinite jumping. And I probably also should make something where the camera is always rotated towards the player. That way, I only have to change the position. Then again, if it's orbiting around anyway. I'm going to have to do a little bit of Googling to see what's the best way to do this, I think. All right, so we've got this w working now. Um, independent movement with the camera orbiting around, which I'm going to be honest with you, I just like stole somebody else's code, uh, which I only partly really understand why it works, but hey, it works. I'll look into that on a later date. Uh, but for the time being, this works. It's a little bit slow in orbiting, so let's put the cam speed to five, and now things seem to make a little bit more sense. So put you to five as well and now oh this is still a little uh that's because the movement direction does need to be influenced by the camera direction doesn't it we can't just expect the camera to orbit around and then the controls not to so what we need to do is make it's a very good question what do we need to do we need to make the player move into the forward direction of the camera is what we think we need to do. Well, this is working, but I've got horizontal <laughs> and vertical uh, movement mixed up now. But uh, that, that should be relatively easy to fix. Let's see if we just swap these two around. That should do the trick. Again, this is very much using help from google but if it works it works and i at least somewhat understand how and why this works which is much better than the whole orbiting camera thing which still throws me for a bit of a loop yeah so no, this this works entirely well Th this is perfect this is exactly what i wanted it to be so now that we have this of course the camera can use a little bit more work we ideally would want to if we walk towards the camera would want the camera to pull back a little bit that kind of stuff but that's fancy stuff that we can work on way 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 later for now we've got our movement we've got our camera system we've got the, the jumping still could use a little bit of work um that's actually not too difficult to uh to fix so let me actually go into that because that's uh let's make a new method for this because this is starting to look a little messy and we copy all this code. Let's see, all the way up to here we can copy. And we paste it into there. And then we just put here, um, move player relative to cam. And that's all we have. So now the update method doesn't become unreadable. So here, uh, if uh, we have the uh, jump button do true, actually do jump, yeah, so we also check for the RB velocity dot Y is less than 
0.05 let's say and rb velocity dot y is greater than negative 0.5 this way, in theory, there still is an infinite jumping opportunity there if you're just in between those very, very small gaps of numbers. But it's a very quick, dirty, and easy way to make sure that we uh, we can't jump unless we are not falling. Now, if we want to make uh, this action RPG thing and we want to have like a mid-air jump or a double jump or whatever, things become a little bit more complicated because we're going to need to implement checks for that. But I'm not even entirely sure whether or not I want a mechanic like that to be in there. So uh, yeah, that's, that's our main character movement. We've got something halfway decent walking now and that's actually making me relatively happy because all things considered, I've been recording for like an hour. I was expecting this to take much longer. Admittedly, two pretty giant pieces of what I've did um, are with helps to YouTube videos, which I will link down below in the description if you want to check them out in more detail. Uh, but we've got a working player, so I think next time, I don't know what we're going to do. Maybe we should start making uh, some enemies and making like a health system as well, actually, now that I think about it. That probably would be a good idea.